Okay, this step shows the preparation of the model. Here you have a um, model that was already poured and basically it will need to be trimmed. The edge is trimmed and you have to take it to a model trimmer, flatten it out, and you got to do it on both sides, for both upper and lower. And once that's done, here's the finished product. As you can see, it's nice and trim, flat. Uh, you want to put uh, grooves on the underside, uh, a channel like that, because it, it'll, it'll help uh, uh, properly bond with the stone. And um, once you have that, now you find hand articulate it to get the correct bite. Once you have the proper bite, you're going to want to glue that together. Just glue it on the outside. Just remember, this glue you're going to remove after. So you want to put enough glue, but not too much. Enough that you that'll hold it together and not too much that you can easily remove it. You secure the, the inside as well. That's it. That's all you need. Now with a toothbrush just just wet the uh, the channel with water so it, it'll help bond the stone with it. Okay, right now the consistency consistency of the stone is still a little bit uh, too wet. You want to make sure that it firms up a little more before you start to stack it. Okay, it's uh, firm enough now. It's got that uh, clay con mud consistency. Make sure to properly align it. Make sure it's centered from the top and it's level horizontally. Make sure the midpoint lines up with the ball. Okay, that's about the right height. Yes. And you can remove the excess stone. Make 
make sure you have enough time to work with it. Remove the excess stone. Fill out any areas that you can fill out while the stone is still workable. It's important to know your stone because if it sets up too quickly you're not going to be able to work with it. Good technique is to wet your fingers and wipe the edges off. Snap together. Okay, now it's firm enough. Squeeze together till it's about parallel. Fill the cavities and remove the excess stone. Now we let it set and once it's set uh, just remove the uh, the glue and then uh, proceed as normal.